take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Many a times during yawning, we tend to press the floor of the mouth, which in turn affects the underlying submandibular and sublingual salivary glands, which happens to open through numerous ducts around the lingual frenulum. As these glands are compressed the saliva tends to shoot out through these openings. Let's help you make your mark. The glands that make saliva are called salivary glands. The salivary glands sit inside each cheek, at the bottom of your mouth, and near your front teeth by the jawbone. There are six major salivary glands and hundreds of minor ones. Saliva moves through tubes called salivary ducts. Let's help you make your mark. Saliva production peaks when a person is eating and is at its lowest during sleep. Too much saliva can cause problems with talking and eating, along with chapped lips and skin infections. Hypersalivation and drooling can also cause social anxiety and diminished self-esteem. Take our lead. A drug called atropine or glycopyrrolate would help to reduce the salivary secretion. A 0.5 mg tablet before attending a public gathering or any such social function would do the trick. Over time, your salivary secretion would automatically slow down. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.